Hello there sports gamers, welcome on back to the channel. MLB The Show just got its third gameplay update and today I'm going to be taking you through all of the patch notes that SDS has released and also showing you some of the new stuff that's come to Diamond Dynasty within the last week. Let's get into the video. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. All right, so here's the article on the patch notes. Again, all of these patch notes can be found on sportsgamersonline.com. I will leave a link to this article in the description of the video here. But when you look at it, a lot of general gameplay fixes, most of them bugs, like a bug that would prevent the ump from uh, making a call in certain situations at home, fix an issue where foul balls would cause the game to freeze up. Um, R2-ing has finally been removed. So for those of you that don't know what that is, when you would be playing online against someone and they were using pinpoint pitching, you could hit the R2 button to view pitch history to kind of mess up uh, their gesture while they were trying to use pinpoint pitching that has been taken out now batters pressing r2 to view the pitch history will no longer impact the gesture portion of pinpoint pitching for the defensive player if r2 is pressed at the same time or after the pitch motion is started r2 will no longer interrupt the defensive user if the batter presses r2 before the pitch motion has started the motion will not start so this is a great change. This is something that people have been wanting to be fixed for a long time now. It's a good thing that it finally has been. There's also been a change to pitcher energy. It says here, continued balance for pitcher energy in three inning modes. These are like mini seasons, uh, BR, conquest, stuff like that. We've reduced pitcher energy by 15%, but more importantly, we have also reduced energy loss per pitch. This will result in being able to use relievers longer and more efficiently. Now, a few days ago, SDS put out a bit of a hot fix for this where they increased pitcher energy just overall. And they note that here, they say in the dev note, you might think this is backtracking from the update we put out on April 12th, where we increased relief pitcher and starter pitcher energy. But this rebalance, specifically the reduction in energy loss per pitch, will ultimately result in pitchers being able to throw more pitches. So we're going to have to see if this fix does fix the situation we have right now because a lot of times you know you'll throw five six pitches with your reliever and they're already out of energy so hopefully this fixes that we're gonna have to get our hands on and see for ourselves here soon also some fixes to co-op uh, a lot of stuff that causes either soft logs getting stuck crashes stuff like that fix an issue where the active batter would lose their batting term if the base running user got caught stealing to end an inning and also added a controller rumble when pressing L2 to Q for steal as the base runner. A couple fixes to road to the show. Fix an issue causing active perks to not function during gameplay if the perk was placed in the fourth perk slot. Fix an issue that would cause the ball player to not display the ball player hub and various text adjustments throughout the mode. So those are some much needed changes to road to the show. Many seasons, crash fixes, as well as the incorrect team logo showing up in a couple of places. Quite a few fixes here to franchise mode. There was an issue where certain award-winning players were listed with the wrong team. That has been fixed. Uh, MLB teams could have too many players of a certain position on their playoff roster. That's been fixed. Uh, incorrect letter grades displayed for coaches available for hire. Uh, intentional base on balls criteria for the CPU has been fixed. All-star appearances not being recorded while simming in certain situations has been fixed. There was an issue in the Rule 5 draft that would cause the user's pick to be skipped and given to the next team in the draft order, so whoever you picked would actually be given to the next team after you. That's been fixed. Uh, the Reliever of the Year award, when it was not listing all of the players, it will now do that. That's been fixed, and the arbitration calculations will no longer result in salaries below the MLB minimum. A couple of fixes to Stadium Crater. Fixes and adjustments to props and night lining, that was certainly needed, as well as sometimes uh, when you created a stadium and uploaded it, it would be locked so other people couldn't use it. Now those stadiums will be accessible in the vault. Big UI change here that we're all happy to see, and it fixed an issue that would cause tutorials to display multiple times. Now those tutorials should not be showing up anymore once you see them the first time. After that, they shouldn't pop up anymore, hopefully. And finally, some miscellaneous stuff. The Nike City Connect Houston Astros uniform has been added to the game. A lot of new player images have been added to franchise in March to October, as well as throughout Diamond Dynasty as well. You can now skip Diamond Cinematic Pack presentations by pressing the square, X, or Y button twice. Some issues with the Cincinnati and LA Angels Jumbotron have also been fixed, 
and also various crash fixes and presentation and commentary adjustment and bug fixes across all modes were also a part of this patch. While we're here, I do want to go over some new things that were added recently to Diamond Dynasty. So we had the Nike City Connect program added earlier this week. Well, now the Washington Nationals Nike City Connect program has been added. This is just for the Washington Nationals City Connect uniform here. You also get a bat skin as well as 85 overall third baseman Anthony Rendon. Got pretty decent stats, good contact, good fielding wise. Um, so you have some moments here to do. But sadly, uh, it, I, I was surprised when I saw that if you do all the moments, you still don't get the Anthony Rendon, which is different from how they did player programs like this last year. Usually when you did the moments, you got the card that you needed to finish out the rest of the program. So you, what you'll need to do is make sure you get some parallel XP with Nationals players. That'll give you enough along with the moments to get up to that Rendon card. And once you get the Rendon card, you'll be able to earn the rest of this and end up finishing out this program. And once you do finish the program, a new collection has been added where once you collect the Washington National City Connect uniform, you will get 15,000 XP towards the faces of the franchise program. Also new spotlight moments have been added to the faces of the franchise program. Each of these are worth 1,000 XP. And they use some of the best cards in the game, like the Frank Thomas AL Live Series Collection card, the Roberto Clemente NL Live Series Collection card, Chase Utley, Mike Musina, Dontrell Willis, Pedro Martinez, Grady Sizemore, Michael Young, Kenley Jansen. All of these are part of the Live Series Collection rewards or uh, some other way where you can get some of the best cards in the game. But now you get to use them here in these moments to earn a lot of XP towards the faces of the franchise program. And last but not least, one more conquest map has been added. This is the face of the franchise central map here. As you can see, pretty good rewards. I've already gone through and completed this, but you'll get a prospect choice pack to the AL and NL central, as well as a ball and as a habit pack once you complete the entire map. So make sure you get in here, do this conquest map. It doesn't take too long. Um, took me maybe a couple hours to grind the whole thing out, so it shouldn't take you that long to play through this one. We also got the fourth headliner set. This is 91 closer Mariano Rivera 08 All-Star. Pretty good card. Got the cutter, four-seamer, sinker, slider, 106 hits per nine, 101 walks per nine. Good control, good velocity, good break. It's always good to have a good Mariano Rivera card in your bullpen. And then, as I said in my last Diamond Dynasty update video, Bobby Witt Jr. prospect card is now in the game. 90 overall, really good against lefties, pretty good against righties as well. Good speed, good fielding. Definitely a good card to have there at shortstop or third base. And looking at the only thing remaining on the current MLB The Show content schedule for Diamond Dynasty, this Friday is Jackie Robinson Day. So we'll have a new player program. Have to expect that some sort of Jackie Robinson program. And then also Tops Now is arriving for the first time this year. The Tops Now programs are back and they arrive with a legend lightning player reveal. So it's going to be interesting to see who that legendary lightning player is going to be here to start off the Tops Now moments in the first part of the season. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like. Also subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss when we put out videos like this. And let us know down in the comments, who do you think that legendary lightning player is going to be this Friday? And also, what do you think of this update and the patch notes that SDS put out today? But until next time, guys, I'm Brandon Satterwhite with SGO. Thank you for watching.